of Tarake Public School. Myself, STP. Today, I am going to explain the economics of class 9 CBSC board. Children, I am going to take a new topic of chapter 2 that is people as a resource. This lesson is going to explain the population as an asset for the economy rather than liability. Children, population means the people of the nation. They are asset. Ye hai. And they can be developed and they can be a better economic resource. Children, before that, I will try to explain what is economic activity. Children, all human activities are activities done by primary, secondary and tertiary sectors that bring income to a society or a nation that is known as economic activity. So, these activities are important if we have a developed human resource. That's why population is an asset for the nation. A nation, if it has well talented, skilled, trained and healthy population, then they can bring quick income for their country. And the per capita income of a person increases day by day. Children, in this chapter, the topic is population as an asset for the economy rather than liability. Generally what happens? People think that in a country, everybody should be provided proper food, proper clothes, proper shelter, they should be treated well and they should be given healthy atmosphere. This is our liability. But this liability is fruitful only when we people become a skilled human resource. It will develop our economy and we can enhance the per capita income of every citizen. You know, economic activity that I have already told that any human activity that bring to an institution or a country a quick income or enhance the income. Children, population, it is a human resource because we human resource can develop land and labor land and labor are also well, you know, our assets but they itself cannot do anything unless we as a human resource we do not use them properly otherwise they are useless that's why human resource is very important human resource can become human capital when all these peoples are given quality education they are given well training they are healthy and medical care is provided by the nation and if they are given proper education then human resource will become human capital and the method or way of giving people all these skills, trainings, education and medical care is known as human capital formation. So in this manner we can tell that human capital formation is important for economic development of a country. Children, in our country, there are many types of people who perform human activities such as doctors, engineers, mechanics, tailors, teachers. They are, you know, a part of human capital formation. A doctor brings medical care to the patient immediate care, immediate diseases control. Along with that, a teacher teaches students and enhance the quality of a student or a child. A teacher give, tell him how to lead a disciplined life and it tells and increase the quality and value of a human. That's why they are major part of human capital formation. Along with this, tailors, mechanics, they are also a part of industrial sector. They also supply our fundamental needs. A tailor supplies 
you know they see the clothes and provide you know cloth facilities to every citizen so that they are able to protect themselves from intense heat of sun rain and various other things along with this architect they you know design various types of infrastructure industrial units research centers hospitals airports high you know schools primary high school primary health centers along with this they have are you know able to perform a better human capital formation that's why every human activities are you know they should be checked and all people they must be careful about human activities in this chapter we will try to discuss why human resources are better human resources are better because as land and labor they itself cannot do anything unless human being use it if human being use you know advanced technology and develop land and labor and develop their skill if we develop the you know quality of soil if we use the earth and make bricks then it will become a resource otherwise they are useless so it is very important for us to tell here about human resources human resources can be understood by two stories there were two people in a village first one was sakal he was 12 years old children his mother was name was sheela and his father was buta singh buta singh was working in a farm he was agricultural labor worker so their family was on average and you know the uncle of sakal he completed matriculation but he was unable to do any job and his mother sheena she had to do domestic works so here the father of sakal buta singh he was very you can say intelligent he understood the necessity of education that's why he made investment in education he took education loan and with that education loan he admitted his you know child in a good school in a vocational course this boy completed computer science vocational course and finally stood meritorious students in his class and became a talented computer expert later on he was offered a job in a electronic industry finally he had developed because his skill was developed due to education that's why this boy sakal he was able to develop a best quality software that was used by you know people in large scale not even in the country abroad so the company was benefited and they gave promotion to sakal and he got high salary and he you know improved his lifestyle he have was able to purchase anything what he wanted he purchased four wheeler he made a you know big house and it was why because of he became a good human capital he was formed by providing education skill and training on other hand there was another boy vilas he was of the same village and he earlier he used to study with sakal but vilas you know vilas family was very poor vilas mother she used to sell fish from nearby pond she had to buy fish and she had to you know sell this you know fish in the market and she had to work 20 rupees daily along with this this vilas also you know helped her his mother and he also started selling that fish what happened throughout his life his life became like a labor he became poor person his income was reduced and it became constant forever when vilas and sakal met in his village we can watch from the chapter that these two people they had different lifestyle why because of capital formation you know sakal he was given good quality education he was given good quality training he was given medical care 
that's why his quality and value increased that is he became a successful human resource that's why we can say that uh, we have can you know improve our human qualities by education by increasing our skill and by increasing our all these things okay